now this is bent real tight, so okay. don't jerk it. All right, you good doing this? All right, let's start with the second one. All right, we'll start with this number two. We are actually group number one. Group right, number one. Center, okay. Is that right? Yeah. And you can tell my background and training if I actually had access to PowerPoint. This would all be in a PowerPoint presentation for you. But um, we talked about some of the content and activities that can be run out of the Educational Center in order to reinforce the main ideas of sustainability, local food, education, um, alternate use of, sort of uh, spaces. So interactive display, educational displays, and we were fortunate enough to have two very good technology people talking about how iPods and iPad technology could be used very inexpensively to talk about different um, types of educational projects. Water harvesting, a huge, huge potential project here because of the wonderful domed um, space that makes us a greenhouse, also makes us a great place for water harvesting. So obviously we, that particular project would be a very expensive one, so just a, maybe a, a small demo of how water harvesting can be done here and what the amount of water can be captured and also what people can do at home so that we can actually take that and translate it into an idea that somebody could actually use at home. Uh, landscaping sponsored areas or areas that are sponsored by individual companies, great idea. Love this one, Mermaid in the Rock. So a mermaid or a wow factor, factor taking a rotating ideas that would help generate activity maybe new activity into the Galleria. Um, a lighting display, display with a meter reader. So these particular lights, um, which I already feel the heat from, and then of course LEDs and compact fluorescents, and to using that as a tool for teaching. Um, <laughs> we have brown bag lunch series, which was changed to reusable brown bag lunch and reclaimed fabric bag lunch, right. but having a, on an, on an ongoing, uh, consistent basis, um, series of educational, right, right, I could have kept going too. Um, educate, before long I'd be sewing it myself. Educational series on food sources, so we talk about where food comes from, a lot of our children don't know where food comes from, chicken legs comes from the store, not actually from the chicken that they see running around. Intergenerational field trips, great idea, talking about bringing schools in and seniors and retirement centers at the same time and running programs together, love that idea. Okay, fish poop, um, it's really aquaponics, but that's something that I know that Vicki has already been exploring, so that's a huge opportunity for us to have a wow factor and bring people in, especially for the people at the tower who are always looking for something, please, something new here. Um, field trip destination, that's a great potential um, for activities where you can teach and use it as an education. And the last thing that came up, which was a great idea, green weddings. So, and then we have a, a little dis a little <laughs> design of what the iPad technology or iPhone technology could look like. And then the last thing that I, I forgot to put up there is using a play as a way of generating electricity. So that ties in with so many of the things that we're talking about here. So that's what we have for the Educational Center. Thank you.